Today's epistle reading for Saturday, June 6th, 2020, is from Paul's second epistle to Timothy, chapter 4. Beloved, I charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who will judge the living and the dead, and by his appearing and his kingly power, proclaim the word. Be persistent whether it is convenient or inconvenient. Convince, reprimand, encourage through all patience and teaching. For the time will come when people will not tolerate sound doctrine, but following their own desires and insatiable curiosity will accumulate teachers and will stop listening to the truth and will be diverted to myths. But you, be self-possessed in all circumstances. Put up with hardship. Perform the work of an evangelist. Fulfill your ministry. For I am already being poured out like a libation, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have competed well. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. From now on, the crown of righteousness awaits me, which the Lord, the just judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but to all who have longed for his appearance." Let's start to unwrap this passage. Paul is encouraging Timothy to be very bold in his preaching and that he's accountable to God to preach and preach clearly and to preach the truth. And he says, For a time will come when people will not tolerate sound doctrine, but following their own desires and insatiable curiosity will accumulate teachers and will stop listening to the truth and will be diverted to myths. This is true in our age as well as all other ages. Human beings can usually find something that's false. That's why there's a church, the church which is guided in truth and led by the Holy Spirit. Otherwise, everybody just tries to figure it out on his own. Now in the last paragraph of the passage, Paul says, I am already being poured out like a libation. A libation is an offering to the gods in the ancient world where a person would pour wine out of a cup onto the ground, like blood spilled on the ground. So he says, my departure is at hand, but I have finished the race and I've kept the faith. 